Oi everybody, Juliana here. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're making some delicious cornbread two ways. One traditional with butter and honey, and the other jalapeno and cheddar. It's corn season in Ontario, Canada, and the corn here is incredibly delicious. Using fresh ingredients that are in season is always the best way to go. For more corn recipes, make sure to visit our Bake Cook Travel Cookie playlist in the description below. So, let's bake! For this recipe, we will be using some fresh corn. Boil 3 to 4 corns and let them cool down. Into a large bowl, add a 1.5 cup of all-purpose flour, 1 cup of yellow corn meal. It needs to be corn meal, not corn flour. Add 2 teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and 1 teaspoon of salt. Mix everything together and set aside. Cut the kernels safely using a knife, making a flat surface. One and a half corn will give you about one cup of kernels, which is the right amount for the recipe we're making today. Into your blender cup, add one cup of buttermilk, one cup of fresh corn kernels, a quarter cup of brown sugar. Blend well for 30 seconds. Add two eggs and blend for 30 seconds more until it is well combined. For this recipe, we will be using a cast iron pan, which you need to add some oil and preheat it for 10 minutes before baking the bread. You should preheat in the oven at 400 Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius. Make a hole in the middle of the dry ingredients and add your wet ingredients in. Mix dry and wet ingredients just until you start to combine and add a half a cup of melted butter in two parts. Folding it until well combined and you don't see any lumps. Add the dough to your preheated cast iron pan. Bake at 400 Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes or until a cake steak comes out clean. Now it's time for you to drop a like if you're enjoying this video. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing delicious recipes and food adventures. Let it rest for 10 minutes on the rack. Remove your bread from the pan and let it rest for 10 more minutes before cutting. Serve with some butter and honey on top. For the jalapeno and cheddar version, use the same recipe but reduce the salt to half a teaspoon. Add some cayenne pepper. I don't like too much, so it's up to you to spice it how you like it. One cup of cheddar cheese. One slice of the seeded jalapeno. Combining them all. From the wet ingredients, just reduce the sugar for 2 tablespoons. Mm -hmm. 
On top of the dough, just before baking, sprinkle a half a cup of cheddar. Bake the same as before. The cheese will melt beautifully on the top and make a very nice cheesy crust. Let it rest for 10 minutes on the rack. Remove your bread from the pan and let it rest for 10 more minutes before cutting. This version comes out a little more crumbly and incredibly delicious too. These recipes are very moist and give you a very real corn flavor. Using fresh corn makes all the difference. I hope you enjoyed and try making them at home. Let me know in the comments below. See you in the next video. Ciao! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to drop a like here. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe here. On Bake Cook Travel, we always bring the best food adventures and food recipes. If you'd like to see more food recipes, click here. And for more food adventures, click here. See you in the next video.